is the life. This is the life. This ain't the life. This ain't the life, baby. What's going on, honey? Love and Hip Hop Atlanta Season 4 Episode I Don't Know. She even drank from the Fountain of Dime. Bitch, I drank from the Fountain of Dime. Jessica Dime Peace, tell everybody how Justin J was sipping on the Fountain of Dime, honey. And it tastes like bitter-ass Kool-Aid. Let's go get into this Love and Hip Hop Atlanta review. This episode was crying. Child, we got Dime Penny and the international wannabe-ass superstar fighting over, fighting by a damn piano. A piano got more talent than both of them hoes combined. Captain Planet face ass bitches. Okay? So they took, they fighting, well they weren't even damn fighting. What's not just talking shit. Jocelyn Hosling talking shit to Dan Penn and Dan Penn is just like, cause that shit is so funny. Dan Penn, I'm just gonna have to roll with it. It's gonna be, have to be your name. That shit is just hilarious. <laughs> Dan Penn. So, Dime has walked up on the studio on Jocelyn and is like, bitch, you trying me, you trying to get me together, you trying to do all this type of stuff, but bitch, you know you drank from the fountain of the dime, you a trick, your husband a trick too, all that type of stuff, but what's name, Jocelyn like, no, I ain't a trick, you're my bitch, you're my bitch, and, you, and I pay you well, and you gonna do this and that, da 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 I'm just like, okay, Jocelyn, you a trick, and Dime Penny, um, you a damn hoe. Like, both of y'all ass is stupid as hell. But both of y'all getting something out of so I don't see why y'all even accusing each other. Just shut the hell up. That shit's so damn stupid and disgusting. Okay? I'm going to tell you one thing, dime piece, dime two-piece wing and thigh. I'm sick of you in that damn $2 two-piece ass wig. Okay? I want you to get some different styles. I'm so tired of you tired, delivered ass hoes wearing these tired ass, dyed Kool-Aid red ass wigs. Sick of that shit. I'm just sick of it. I'm sick of you. I am sick of you. Sick of seeing these damn wigs. So child, they fighting so bad. Where well, they get into it? What's the name? They baptize her ass with some damn um, <laughs> what they drink and threw money at her. And told the bitch she should have picked up the money. No, she got to pay her bills. And security walked in and had to hunt, get their ass together. It, it was just a fool. I just couldn't believe, like, I, I just couldn't believe them, like, they, they were scrapping like that. I, I just cannot believe that. Well, they weren't scrapping. I just can't believe they just, it just got like that. So, I was thinking, like, she left her money. You need to go tell her get her money. So, we get to Sing City, okay? Sing City, S-C-E-E-N-E, -E, okay? Uh, well, Ashley Nicole about to perform, and, and Rashida and her guard dog. I don't even know that girl name no damn more. What is that girl name? Um... I ain't know that girl name no more. She ain't really had Erica um, Dixon. Okay? Um, with the, her six, uh, wanna be six fat on six Avenue ass dresses. We still ain't seen, honey. I don't know where the hell it is. So, they show up and they watching um, Ashley Nicole perform. And that, Ashley Nicole, you came out there and said, like, I'm about to perform. I'm about to, you know, I invited Rashida. You know, I'm about to perform. And you get out here, girl. And you lip singing. You didn't even hold a mic to your mouth. And you just. I thought I was watching the BT Awards 2.5. Like, I, it, it was horrible. Like, Ashley Nicole, I don't know if this shit is a joke for you, but you look like Boo Boo the damn fool. VH1, Mona Scott, and all of them are making a damn fool out of your ass, okay? You look really stupid. And I hope you're getting paid enough to pay off your um your, your student loan from Remington College or wherever the hell. I hope that this is enough for you because you look real stupid on you. were pushing around. He pooch around and just looking at damn fool. And then you tell myself, well, now that's why I call a performance. Bitch, where? What performance, bitch? What performance? That wasn't no damn performance, girl. That was a damn YouTube tutorial ass performance of what not to do. Girl, you looked a hot ass mess, Ashley Cole. Then you walked up and tell myself, how did I do? Girl, you should have scooted your ass. You should have um, Ashanti scooted your ass onto the damn dressing room and told the fucking Uber to come get your ass right in the damn room, honey. Pull up with your silly missing ass face. Okay? I just, I hate it. Um, it was just a fool. Um, <laughs> what's that? Talking about some, but Erica Dixon, Abby, she said about some, bitch, go on, go on, old, uh, be gone or some shit. That shit was, I, I just could not. It was a fool. Um, um, I, I just can't. I can't. So, what else is going on? What else is going on? I, I can't. I can't. Um, I can't even remember the other shit that was going on. Because that terrible ass performance. I just can't. Ashley, I'm, I'm just really hurt that you really thought you were up there singing. Bitch, you, 
in the studio, not live. Like, girl, you were out there performing and you look real stupid. You need your ass whipped. It's bad when the fucking um, Snoop Dogg even said your ass did bad. He a hundred years old. This nigga is the first nigga to smoke weed ever and he said your performance was bad. We all know Snoop was probably how when he watched it. Oh, so she talking about she about to go on this promo, uh, promo tour or whatever, child. I don't know what the hell we are pr- promoting. More trash, Mister Promo, Promo himself, Rashida Pucho team talking about some. You know, Mister, uh, Mister Promo, da da da. Girl, y'all ain't Beyonce and you ain't Jay Z. So what the hell are y'all talking about? Why do you think that you? Why do you, Kirk? Why do you think you're doing something so well that you can pooch around all around the city? And, and tell me, you, girl, tell me if y'all going to, well, y'all, y'all ain't doing them, but going to East Memphis. I mean, not East Atlanta, hood ass East Atlanta, okay? Chuck, I cannot, I, can, I can't. Um, what else was going on? So, speaking of East East Atlanta, Carla Red and Margo ended up going to um, East Atlanta for some open mic, light, open mic night. It was supposed to be. And usually, open mic night means that you're going to do something that's not rehearsed, something that's not rescripted. You're just going to sit here and spit bars. Dime Penny, that's what we thought you was going to do. And then you got up there, nickel and dime. So disrespectful. I'm so disrespectful. It's the same ass shit we've heard a hundred times. The same ass hook. Same ass shit. I get money. I got a pink wig. Give you whiplash. Same ass shit. So Jessica Dime. Their performance was nothing stellar. This is an open mic night. Open mic night means that you are doing something just like off the what's night. Like, girl, it's no, that was like a whack ass performance. And to, it was just a fool. You got your big fucking tigger looking ass bouncing on your damn booty up there. To me, I'm so disrespectful. I ain't gonna lie, yo, your stomach is, you, I like your shape. I feel like your, I know your ass ain't real. That, that shit. It's just not your. I don't feel like your ass is real. I don't feel like your titties is real. And I'm just sick of this this image. I'm just sick of this image of this is what black women look like. This is not. This shit is all fucking fake. All this fake ass plastic bullshit. I hope you hoes are about to melt when y'all take your ass in this hot ass goddamn sun. I'm sitting in this hot ass goddamn sun doing this damn review. It ain't hot in my car, but bitch, I got there. I don't know if y'all can hear it, but I'm still a little moist. Okay, moist. Okay, already gay and moist. Okay, I just can't. I can't. So, Diane Penny do her whack ass performance. Then Margot walk up BB Bluff, um, looking at BB Bluff chin ass up there from Doug. Got her smooth chin ass up there to my son. Uh-huh, horse, why horse, why horse? And bitch, you look like somebody would throw a goddamn horseshoe around your damn neck, pole neck ass girl, Margot. With your tall, fucking, skeletal looking ass. Okay? That performance was whack as hell. And you, I'm tired of y'all ass performing. And then you got the music playing in the background with you singing. Girl, you're going to perform. You're supposed to have the track. The track is supposed to be the musical instrumental. It ain't supposed to be your ass fucking singing over the track. And we playing like, bitch, get your shit together. You ain't gonna get nowhere smoking a pipe hole. You walk around here look like a damn pipe, bitch. I'm about to go get fucking... What's the damn dude that eat the spinach pop out on your ass? And light your ass up. Faster than this. Johnny Bravo chin ass girl. I'm just... Michael, get up there. And I'm horse. Horse. And you these ugly ass goddamn haircuts. Your haircut was giving me damn... Memphis International Airport tees. Girl, you had this type of, your shit, your shit look like the Pythagorean theorem, okay? Your, whatever the hell that shit is, bitch, I thought I was about to do 2 plus and, and C squared and all that type of shit. What that shit was on your head, child, like an unidentified flying object on your damn head, girl. Is that some type of new fucking spaceship? But you want to glue in these damn freakazoid ass hairstyles on your damn head, Margot. And you a pretty woman. But that performance, where I get up there, huh? And you try and give us this rocker tee because you dress, everybody doing this. Oh, I dress radical, all type of shit. But y'all doing the same. All y'all ass dressed the same. And you, and I don't know what you the had done to your nose or your face, but you talk like you need some goddamn fucking wall fed PE. You need some pseudo fed, bitch. You need to 20 count. Okay? You need to 20 count. Okay, where your ID? Let me scan it. 
Cause I'm, I'm. You walk around here like you got you congested and shit with this damn nose. You know, I, 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 like I'm just, I'm just sick of you, Margo. I'm just sick of you. I just don't even have anything else to say. I, I'm, I'm sick of you. Um, and that damn piece up there looking like the goddamn Chuck E. Cheese robot and shit. I'm so disrespectful. I'm so, I'm so disrespectful. Like, girl, you ain't got no type of flow. You ain't going around. I'm so disrespectful. I'm so disrespectful. Like, you, I'm so disrespectful. I'm so, bitch, I thought somebody, I thought the damn Chucky couldn't move or some shit. That's what you look like. I felt like it was a Chuck E. Cheese and you want them inanimate ass objects moving around. I'm so disrespectful. I'm so, bitch, when you about to do the robot face saying, bitch, get that shit back. Get back, ho. Get back, dime penny. Y'all made me mad as hell with these whack ass performances. Like this shit don't make no sense. There are some people who can actually sing and who can actually rap and they don't get the time. Cause they VH1 and Mona Scott and I don't give a damn if I don't ever be on the um fucking after party. That shit whack as hell in a damn way. I'm just gonna be honest. Shit whack as hell. Chick her looking a damn fool with them damn whack, dry, tired ass damn jokes. Let me stop lying. I would love to be on Love and Hip Hop on um, the after party, but I don't seriously don't think I will, and I'm not mad. Somebody asked me the other day, you think, girl, I don't care. I speak too much truth to be on that damn thing. I speak too much damn truth. I'm not sugarcoating shit. I'm not, sh I'm too damn uns uh, fucking unscripted. They wouldn't know what the hell to do with my, my bust out and read the shit out of Mona Scott ad. Because they tired. It's just tired. Like, it's some real, really, real good artists out here that I feel like can really do some shit. But we keep putting these bullshit at Jessica Diamond because she got a big booty and a pink wig. She can do some shit. Now, her wig ain't... I'm different from Nicki Minaj. My wig is red. Bitch, sit your tired ass down. Dying penny. A fucking... I'm gonna start calling your ass Jessica Cornstar, bitch. Okay, because you built like Cornstar. I'm about to take a jar of corn so I can get about $15 to get my ass down fucking Watkins and get to work. Okay? I'm so disrespectful, bitch. That wig is disrespectful. And, show, and so is your damn flow. Get the hell out of my damn face. <laughs> what else was going on? Carla Red tell me she going to get somebody signed to her label. Carla Red, I hope so, so you can stop trying to drive around that tired-ass, least-ass mercedes Benz. So I hope that, that works out for you, Carla Red. But I like Carla Red. Carla want to crack her. I hope, you know, I like her. But um, Diane Penny ends up meeting up with me, man. They have a conversation. And Diane Penny had me hollering. Jessica Diamond had me hollering. I'm going to call you Jessica Diamond. Because you had me hollering when you said... <laughs> I'm just saying, was gonna throw up her lunch money. <laughs> ah, ah, bruh. Oh, Jessica Dine said they was up there <laughs> throwing her lunch money. So she telling Mimi how they met up and they did woo 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 and all that type of shit. And uh, Jessica Dine, like, look, I've been, you've been helping doing something for me three months and you ain't did shit. I don't give a damn about your ducks. I don't give a damn about your clip. I don't give a damn about Nico. You need to find out what you gonna do so you can get it done for me so I can make some money so I can stop staying in this tight ass red roof in, okay? Over here, I'll, uh, <laughs> I can't think of the name. I can't think of the name, but yeah, she. I, I, I hope, I hope, I hope that works out. But here go the tea, baby. What's the name? Start spending some tea, though. Uh, Mimi said, "Done ass is not no damn manager. She is a damn booking agent, baby." Jessica, damn, like, oh girl, you, you lying now? She telling your ass the truth. She's a booking agent, booking agent, and you are a fraud. So both of y'all need to to fucking go on to somewhere, honey. Try Trey is walking down the street, sweating his ass off, honey. Black as I don't know what. I'm, I bet his booty stink. It is. It's hot as hell. I wish y'all can see him. Booty fat as a motherfucker. He he strolled. I can't walk up and down the streets like I just cannot unless I'm going to work or something. I couldn't do it. I couldn't just do it. Like, what do y'all get out of walking up down in these hood ass outfits? Girl, it's 90 degrees. You will have a damn stroke in this motherfucker. Like, some light skinned nigga came to the barbershop yesterday for today with this damn. Uh, he had on some a thermal. He was sexy as motherfucker. But, bro, you gonna have a stroke trying to sit up here and show somebody your muscles and shit. But you know what? Some of y'all niggas that be in the damn gym all the time, y'all dick be itty bitty, itty bitty, teeny weedy. And I be print watching. I be print watching. I'm dis I'm so disrespectful. I'm so disrespectful. That shit look catchy. Like that catchy and them catchy ass fucking um Velcro ass edges just a dime guy. What else is going on? Oh uh, <laughs> I just don't know what to talk about. So Don is a booking agent, bitch. <laughs> she, she a booking agent. That shit was whack. They ain't having they meeting or whatever. What else is going on? So uh <laughs> 
Jocelyn and Stephen Poe be going to meet up with somebody in Hollywood to buy a damn uh, movie called The First of the Month. Or what was it called that time of the month? And Jocelyn's so happy. She all, she, she happy as hell because they really go to Hollywood, but bitch don't know. He, she, they took her to Hollywood and Frasier past that damn Popeyes and that damn Burger King on fucking James Road. Let me tell you something. Oh, you so disrespectful. Okay? The Hollywood, then if you're going to go to Hollywood, the sign y'all showed of Hollywood was on the side. Like, where was the big sign of Hollywood that was, that's on the, um, the mountain or whatever, the hill or some shit up? Like, y'all got, like, girl, y'all look like y'all was in the hood. And then they talking about some deals and all the type of stuff, and they about to get big, they about to do a movie. I'm trying, bro, I'm trying to understand who signs a major deal with a plastic pen. Stevie J, I'm finna spend a couple of minutes on your ass. You talk all this shit to myself. I'm going, I'm back on. Puff Daddy just called me. If Puff Daddy had called you and you, you were doing all this type of shit, we would have seen your bitch ass falling in the damn, um, in that hole like P. Diddy did. Okay? We would have seen you in the reunion. You, you could have been back doing something. Stevie J, nobody, you ain't the hit man no more. And the only thing you hitting is that tired ass Thundercat that, uh, Hosling got. Okay? That's the only thing. Thundercat, ho! That's the only thing that you're hitting. You ain't the hit man no more, man. You ain't the hit breaker. You ain't shit. You ain't doing shit, Stevie. You ain't doing shit, Stevie. You ain't doing shit. And, and, and you talking about you started big deals. I have never in my life seen somebody sign a deal with a plastic pen. Brother, like it's some shit that you go get from the pawn, pawn shop. You sign this shit. Tell the motherfucker you're going to pay the $30 if you ain't got the 250 Like, girl, that a plastic pen. And then it wasn't even on like a look. Like a little, what's the little book? A little notebook thing? It wasn't in the black thing signed. Like, you signed that shit on that hard ass, dusty ass table. Girl, you ain't making no damn, that ain't no million dollar contract. That ain't no, that ain't even no motherfucking hundred thousand. That's the lunch money that was on that damn piano that, you, that Jocelyn was throwing up. But you know, throw it up, throw it up, watch it all fall out, okay? So, Erica, uh,. <laughs> Erica ends up pooching around with, uh, cause we ain't seen Erica none, to Chateau de Rashida. To, you know, they talking about what's all going on. I don't know why we at this empty ass house that uh, Rashida building. I, I don't know. I, I I don't know. I didn't understand that shit. But, you know, woe is me. I don't give a damn. So they talking. And she just, I just, I don't hope. I hope Kirk ain't cheating on me. I hope he ain't cheating on me. I hope he ain't cheating. Rashida, I'm tired of you and your fat neck ass husband fucking storyline. To be quite honest, I really don't give a damn about Ashton Nicole dry dry ass, and I really don't give a fuck about D Lo Entertainment. You ain't been hot since a motherfucking peach was motherfucking juicy, okay, bitch? Your peach is dry to hell. You are Georgia Prune in my Scotty voice. No one cares about you and D Lo Entertainment. No one cares. Let me just tell you, y'all are still living in this delusional ass world, and we are laughing at y'all because we know deep down inside that all y'all hoes are faking it till you make it, and y'all ain't made it yet because the ones who's making it ain't going on the show no more. Okay, I, Chateau de Rashida, I don't have time. Moving on, Swift and Professional, I don't want to talk about this shit no more. So Don and Mimi and I meeting up, and Don is a shady motherfucker. Don said, "Bitch, you can't get shit together. You can barely get your life together. You can barely keep your clit together." I was hollering. Um. Don is basically telling you know you ain't making Jessica Dine no money. She gonna throw you about a waist, and we all know Jessica Dine waist is is wide as two forty going east southbound. So that motherfucker is kind of wide. So you know I don't know what to tell her with this this thing. I just want Mimi to end this MF Entertainment shit. It's it's stupid as hell, and it just makes no sense at all. Uh, Rashida ass can't sleep. The bed bugs biting. And them damn ticks on Kirk Dick then flew off his dick and he they chewing on Rashida goddamn edges. Rashida got some she has some really, really pretty edges though. So Rashida can't sleep. She waking up. She said, Let me call the hotel room. She called I'm Ashley Nicole. <laughs> Laughing and shit. So Rashida said, Bitch, I'm finna drive to go where the hell y'all go. Where was y'all where was where was they where did the room at? Downtown? Like how like they supposed to be going to see like how y'all gonna make it that quick? Like this shit makes absolutely no sense to me. It makes no sense to me. Because I be thinking, like, what was she to do with her kids? Who keeping her kids? Like, how she, if she going to do all this shit? Like, girl, this shit's so damn staged. I just can't. I can't. It looks so damn staged. So, when I guess when she's going to get there, she's going to find out 
the Ashton Nicole had to book the room in her damn name on her damn car because Kirk didn't have enough. He didn't have a two hundred dollars in his room to cover the damn incidentals and shit in the damn room on the debit card. So you know it is what it is. Da da da. And that, that shit go like it's gonna be interesting. But I'm telling you what, next week's episode of Love and Hip Hop Atlanta like it's gonna be the shit. Next week's episode of Love and Hip Hop Atlanta like it's gonna be the shit, and I cannot wait to see it, baby. I'm gonna have to probably make sure I'm off. I am off this weekend. Um, I got some major stuff going on, some major stuff, and I cannot wait to share it with you all. I feel like I'm Cadillac like Kimberly almost telling y'all this shit, but, you know, stop talking about it, just be a better move in silence. Um, be expecting some shit this week. Some probably today or tomorrow, who knows. Um, but yeah, I, I just, I'm excited. I'm very, very excited, but a little nervous. And I'll tell you about it. I love you all so much. Follow me on Twitter, Justin J1232. Follow me on Instagram. And I will talk to y'all later. Tell me what y'all thought about this episode of Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. And I'll talk to y'all later. Deuce.